Brian Flores is black. And if you don't know, some of you might not, if you don't follow the NFL closely, but NFL coaches, black NFL coaches, in particular of all the minorities, black NFL coaches, excuse me, black coaches, have had a hard time getting head coaching positions. Black assistant coaches, black position coaches, black coordinator coaches, who have tried to move up to get head coaching positions over the last, I mean, it's been going on for a very long time now, have had a very hard time getting interviews. And then when they get interviews, they haven't been taken seriously in terms of being viable candidates for those positions. And the NFL has done several rule changes to try to incentivize teams and owners mostly all of these owners are white of the 32 teams in the NFL just about every one of them uh, if not all have a white chief CEO owner and these rules were put in place to hopefully as I said incentivize these teams to bring in interview and take seriously minority coaches to become head coaches but uh, history has proven that that has not been the case because outside of a few years here and there there's only been two to three sometimes one maybe four maybe five at different points of the year but basically just a few minority slash black head coaches have been in position um, to lead a team uh, for a very long time, I would say over the last decade or so, um, if not longer. Uh, so, the systematic prejudice towards taking minority head coaches seriously to be head coaches, Brian Flores has now stepped up the game and presented a class action lawsuit. And hopefully, 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 um, this will be something that sets a bar um, in the near three to five year future where minority coaches, black coaches can, and hey, all minority coaches, but in particular black coaches, um, uh, because they are of the minority, they are um, the majority, can go in sit down and be on the same level as their white counterparts when it comes to trying to pursue and obtain a head coaching position in the NFL. So this class action lawsuit is probably going to drag out. He may or may not win the, the lawsuit, but the tentacles that he has put in place for this lawsuit makes for a very, very strong case for coaches to finally be taken seriously when they talk about and complain about not being able to get head coaching positions. And I think Brian Flores is going to be the one when we look back on it, when we look back on it, this lawsuit and him in particular will be the one to kickstart really and put a, a dent, a, a serious dent in the hiring practices of coaches, minority coaches in the NFL. And with that being said, I want you guys to just if, to keep track of that name, keep track of the lawsuit, um, even over the, over the next few years, because what we're seeing is NFL black history in the making.